Hey everyone, I'm Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I am going to use my laminator and some scrapbook paper to make some writing boards uh, for my A6 Hobonichi Techos using their writing board as a stencil. I found very quickly that this uh, concept of the writing board, or the shitajikis, or shitajikis, as I have <laughs> searched the pronunciation websites, uh, are very helpful with the Hobonichis because the uh, Tomoe River paper is very thin, and so they really do help, you know, with writing as the name would suggest, writing board. So I just traced it on the scrapbook paper. This is just some random sheets that I had. And uh, I actually cut it out so that it would be a bit smaller, probably like a millimeter all around than the Hobonichi one because I was allowing for the room of the lamination on the edges because you know how you can't cut it right up to the edge of the lamination or else it'll just split apart. So I did make it a little bit tiny smaller tiny smaller than the Hobonichi size one. So I just traced it and then cut and I did have double-sided uh, scrapbook papers, but I just decided to do this and I thought maybe it would make it a little thicker. So I took two sheets and then just randomly decided to take a little piece of washi tape and put it on the top tab part just to make that kind of a different color, interesting color. I like mustard and gray together and I guess mint or green or whatever color this is. I thought it looked fun and then I think I'm just going to slap a little bit of glue stick on there just to hold them together while they go through the laminator so they're not sliding around. So that's that and then I think I actually make like two of this pattern and I did decide to mark um, like the inch and the centimeter markings on there because I actually do kind of use that little ruler marking sometimes and I thought it might be helpful. So I just used my uh, paint pens, my um, Posca paint pens to mark um, just some inch markings and then in the center or in the middle of those the centimeters. So I thought that was kind of interesting. On there you wouldn't know it just kind of looks like decoration but so there are the two that I cut out and then I'm noticing that I've just got kind of all that spare room and I didn't want to waste all that lamination. So I just took that piece of gray polka dot scrapbook paper and I'm making a little bookmark kind of thing. This was just kind of a whim uh, just because I didn't want to be wasteful. So I'm kind of rounding the corners and then cutting out a backing for it. And I figured that I could use this as a bookmark or a page marker. I kind of made it tall like the uh, like it would stick up like the tabs do on the writing boards so that um, I could use it as in my A6s as like a bookmark or like a tab or, you know, whatever. You know what I mean. We're getting crazy in here. So glued it together just to hold it. And then this is my, uh, this is from Carpe Diem. And it is just a sticker pack, the Bloom sticker pack, I think. And I picked a little one that looks like a clip and then a little uh, paper clip. I thought they were really cute. And I thought that would be cute peeking up, you know, as a tab. Um, and then just trimming so that they're the same size. And then here's a laminating pouch. Um, I got my laminator from my mother-in-law for our uh, Secret Santa, and I was so happy. <laughs> my uh, my in-laws know what nerd I am, so <laughs> they know that a laminator would make me very happy. And um, so I'm just putting that in there and then closing up the pouch and then feeding it through. And then voila, lamination. I could just laminate all day. All damn day I could laminate. And then 
cutting it out. And you know, um, like I mentioned before, if you have a laminator, just don't cut too close to the edge of the lamination because then you'll cut where it's fused and it will just peel apart. Uh, I probably got a little close, but... So there's my little bookmark tab. And then I've got my two pencil boards because I only ordered one. I got one with the Hobonichi that I ordered from the 1101 site. Oh, there's my son. <laughs> but I didn't get one with the one that I ordered from JetPens. So this is just a quick, easy way to make your own little marks, bookmarks or writing boards. Shitajkis, if you will. And you could make them so fun uh, using stickers and stuff. So please like and subscribe and come back. Bye.